Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number nine of the Valley of the Dead Tournament Expert Division Weekend Round. For our tee shot, we want to use an APOC level four and above and a Kingmaker ball. We're going to apply five and a half top spin with three right spin. With an APOC level five and above, you want to position yourself at the top of the plus 10 yard position. With an APOC level four will be the top of the plus 16 yard position. And with our APOC level eight here, we've got the clear ring touching the right rough. Depending on what level APOC you have, you'll have different accuracies, so the ring placement will change based on that. Our adjustment is P3 max plus 10% elevation. Then we're gonna apply max overpower with a slow needle, about two and a quarter ball of right curl. We hit perfect. Ball's gonna land in the fairway, bounce over the corner of the rough and bunker into the further portion of the fairway and then roll out for a drive distance of 420 yards. All right, for our approach shot, we wanna use a Grizzly level seven and above. We're going to apply 3.4 top spin with two right spin. And what I'm checking for here real quick is my plus yardage. So you wanna set yourself up with the red ring touching the fairway. You don't wanna be any closer to the fairway than the red ring. However, I don't have a plus yardage, which is what I'm using to determine my slider percentage. So I push forward until I hit my plus yardage. And then I just basically determine how many rings short of that I am. So I'm about two rings short of that. So two rings under my plus yardage with a Grizzly 9. I'm gonna play this one P3 plus 35% elevation at 65% slider. And I've also got the, as I said, red ring touching the fairway. And I've got the ball guide kind of going, it's like going towards the hole, but it's like under the hole. Finally, we want to make sure we center the ball. Don't inadvertently overpower. You don't want to accidentally miss the rough and go long. We hit perfect. Ball's gonna land in the rough, bounce out onto the fairway, roll onto the green, and we are gonna miss about a cut to the left. Um, so, a couple things. One, the amount of adjustment that we're using is both accounting for the lateral movement and the push forward from the slight tailwind. So, I don't wanna I don't want to reduce my adjustment because that's basically going to bring me closer to the edge of the rough. And I don't want, like I said, I don't want to miss the rough and go long. Um, so I think what I would recommend one is you can pull a little more 1201. I actually think I had a slight 1159 on that. So pull more 1201 um, or two offset to the right about as much as we missed. So maybe when you're looking at setting it up, have it be about a outside right edge of the hole instead of at the hole. And hopefully that'll get us online for the albatross. Uh, for further instruction on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Expert Tournament Guys through Golf Clash Tommy. Good luck in your weekend rounds.